27 super tanker airplane is on standby right now at the Gulf of Biloxi Airport. The specially equipped aircraft is primarily used to battle large wildfires. But as Steve Phillips reports, it may be called to the service by BP to help spray dispersants onto the oil spill. The Evergreen Super Tanker is based in Oregon. Although the 747 looks like a large passenger jet outside, the inside tells a different story. Rows of pressurized tanks can deploy 20,000 gallons of chemicals from the air. This set of tanks goes to two nozzles. This set of tanks goes to two nozzles. Evergreen executive Rick Campfield says the aircraft was designed to battle large wildfires. And just as the super tanker can drop 20,000 gallons of fire suppressant on the forest, it could also deploy an equal amount of dispersant on oily gulf waters. Because of its pressurized system, we can also loiter and have sustained drops and segmented drops, which means, uh, much like an aerosol can, you can start and stop at any time. So we don't have to deploy the entire thing at once. Uh, we, can, we can deploy a path, circle, loiter, and then come back and lay down another path based on what is called for and needed from the air command. BP is currently using two C-130s to spray dispersant in the Gulf. One advantage of the super tanker is its ability to lay down a much larger swath. This aircraft at about uh, 150 to 200 feet up can spread a 200 foot wide path about 350 miles long of chemical. So that equates to about 7,300 acres. The Evergreen Super Tanker has not been contracted by BP just yet, but company leaders are hopeful and ready. So our purpose here is uh, really staging the aircraft, being prepared and ready to go so that when they do call, uh, we're ready to, to uh, rock and roll and get on the scene quickly. Even if BP decides not to use the plane to spray dispersants on the oil spill, Campfield says the super tanker could also be used as a transport plane to bring large volumes of chemical dispersant to the Gulf Coast. Prepared at any moment's notice to take off and uh, support. Steve Phillips, WLOX News. And Rick Campfield says the company is currently in discussions with BP, the Coast Guard, and the Air Force about the capability and the availability of the Evergreen super tanker. This came out about the same time as the news report from the Waco Tribune Herald.com came out. It says uh, May 21st, 2010. So it's a good month, month and a half since this particular video came out on WLOX, Biloxi Gulfport. But they sure want to spray. Until next time, YouTube.